Hey, what's going on, tribe? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so y'all already know I gotta do a reading from my deck, a moment in true twin flame oracle deck. I do have um four different versions of this deck, y'all. So I have the Divine Masculine deck, um, the Twin Flame Ascension deck, and then I have the regular um moment in truth deck, and then there's one that I'm working on now, right? Oh yeah. Not to mention, I have the Divine Feminine's deck too, okay? So go to my um, website and check it out. And if you can purchase, I definitely appreciate you. The holidays are coming up. So I have more than just Oracle cards on there, okay? I got gift cards, um, memorabilia from t-shirts to coffee mugs um, to pens, whatever it is that <laughs> you're looking for and you want to gift. You can find something on it, okay? So definitely check me out over on the oraclegoddessinc.com. You'll find that link also in the bio of my TikTok, okay? Um, thank you guys again for tuning in. And don't forget, every twin is on a different stage of their journey. So you want to take what you need and leave what you don't need, okay? So these cards pretty much kind of comes from the Divine Masculine's um perspective okay and their karmic situation so it says divine masculine is playing along to get along with a karmic okay um let's get married that's been the energy over the last month okay with this so their 5d cells is is ready to get married all right um their 3d cells may be saying like ah, i need a little bit more time <laughs> but no they're ready they're ready to do it i know the truth about us Okay, so yeah, they know what's up. All right, so tell me about this divine masculine playing along to get along with the Carmen. Half the time, they don't be wanting no, no uh, BS. But yeah, so the Knight of Cups is here. So the Knight of Cups always acts real charming and, and um, idealistic, graceful. Okay, um... And that seems to be like the energy that they're in right now. It's like, yeah, they're they're trying to, they're trying to be, how can I say? They're trying to find creative ways here to create an opportunity for themselves because of whatever the domestic conflict is going on within that um karmic situation, um, whatever the disharmony is. Yeah, the three of swords is in the reverse position, so they may be. Right there, uh, and what I feel like is like this is their way of trying to heal the situation, okay? And it's not in that way to you know do whatever, but it's all it like some of you may have auto automatically thought, like, wait, they're trying to get back with the karmic. I do see some type of recovery or reconciliation. And remember, reconciliation could be reconciling differences or it could be an actual reconciliation. You never know. But I don't feel like that's the case because DM wouldn't be sitting here saying, let's get married. Right. <laughs> but however, it's like they're trying to embrace their healing. OK. And I feel like here with the Queen of Wands, when it comes down, that that's your energy coming through Divine Feminine. OK, so you're very confident. And that's what Spirit is trying to remind you. Remember, remember to stay confident, okay? Stay charismatic. Stay the queen of wands around this month, okay? That's it. Don't, don't come down from off of your throne. Don't tip your crown, all right? Remember who you are is how I'm hearing it. Um, You got a vision and the purpose of this journey literally, again, is about what? It's about your leadership. It's about you operating in your spiritual giftings. It's about you helping others, helping humanity, right? Because you're a natural leader who inspires others, okay? So remember that, right? And that's all I keep hearing is just remember that. Um, I feel like the masculine is... In this energy here of just being charming um, right now for real. But it seems like it's more of one of these things here so that they can get to their vision. So that they can achieve their goals, right? The Knight of Wands come out. It's, it's, that's what it seems like it's about. Now, why do the Divine Masculine feel like they have to use that tactic here? It's like a habit. That's what I just heard. It's like a habit because... Yeah, this is something that is like a pattern or something. A mindset. 
it's like they may feel like they have to do that in order for them to be able to get what it is that they want okay or to achieve something here the eight of cups comes out the hangman comes in the reverse position and for what i'm seeing it it's like i'm just still seeing like it's something that they have to let go of it's an unhealthy um pattern okay that they need to let go of um or they need to shift their perspective here about uh this present moment right now because things are changing and they don't no longer have to operate in that energy so if they begin to let go of their control um then they'll be able to see that they don't have to do this play along to get along okay in order for them to be able to achieve whatever goals that they're trying to manifest outside of the karmic situation um but yeah that's something that they're gonna have to learn and master in this lifetime five 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 they may even have um the universe may even orchestrate a tower moment okay um to help them to see it all right so let's talk about let's get married the world card so that's part of their goal that's something that they want to achieve yeah, they feel like this will just complete everything for them. Um, this will be a major milestone for the masculine as well. Knight of Cups comes out. Okay, so really your masculine is a hopeless uh, romantic. <laughs> okay, they're following their heart. All right, and they're following their heart and their intuition towards you. They've already made the decision. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, they already, yeah, they're already in this energy of like, you know what? I'm, I'm flexible, and yeah, <laughs> I want to go ahead and flex over there towards Divine Feminine. I know the truth about us. I feel like, you know, your masculine is learning a great deal about this journey about their own soul's evolution um so even if they do have this tower moment i feel like they'll bounce back is all i keep hearing is they'll bounce back that's why you're being told to stay in the queen of wands energy to stay confident don't allow yourself to go into that energy of being jealous okay or insecure um about whatever is going on because now nah, you still the queen of wands boo you still in the limelight you're still the leader you're still all of that okay the ten of cups comes out and um for the most part they know that you are their happiness that's just what it is they know who you are and they're grateful for the love and the joy that they have with you in their life the four cups comes out i feel like that's more about the masculine like you know I ain't opening myself up to no new opportunities. Like I don't need no new, new, new uh, partners or lovers or whatever. They may flirt with the idea um, of. I only want to say flirt with the idea. You know how it is. It's like if people paying you attention and you may be like flirty or whatever. But nah, when it comes to allowing someone to come in, they're not. They're not with it. They are not accepting no new offers or friends in that nature okay so they know the truth about you and i feel like they're clear about that um they don't want to juggle no more two of pentacles i feel like this is someone who may have juggled partners before and it, it, it definitely seems like it's something that could have gotten very messy mm -hmm. yep highly triggering for this masculine so yeah Yep, four of pentacles and the upright position comes out. That's something that was, um, it feels like that was a way of them controlling the narr narrative of their story. Okay, it's like have multiple partners. I can't get serious about nobody. But what I just heard is divine feminine. You're changing me. Yep, two of cups, seven of pentacles in the world. Okay, so when they take and they look at what, has been invested into what you got they see growth all right they see progress they see the world they see harmony they see balance okay so you guys must be on the same page energetically um congratulations to you especially divine feminine because guess what you are evolving and it's all about your oneness with self Right, because this is what is mirrored back to your divine counterpart, and this is what helps your divine counterpart to be able to move forward and close out that karmic cycles. Kudos to you guys, and congratulations! Peace.